Hey everybody and welcome back to Dragon Quest 9! This is the sign I said it would meet you at. I am now level 7. And just to show you, uh, if we go up a little further north here, if you want to grind a little bit, the spot, it's right around here somewhere. This little spot up here, this little cliff here, uh, tends to spawn a lot of the, uh, the archers and the butterflies, which give the most experience in this area. So if you want to grind, it might be helpful to go up in that area. They're not like a guaranteed spawn in there, but they tend to spawn in that area a little bit more frequently than other monsters. So. Okay, where is the sign? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so from the sign, we want to go south. And there is another path here. Sort of. There we go. And reach, we want to follow that. You don't have to walk on the path or anything like that. I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. Oh, look at this creepy area. This is the hexagon. Now, it should be noted, when you enter a cave-like area, like that, like what I'm doing, you cannot use your chimera winks. You have to be actually outside in the open. When you enter like a dungeon area like this, even if part of the scenery is outside, you're considered, well, like indoors, so to speak. Ow, oh, it's poison! Yeah, stay away from that orange goopy stuff. You'll slowly lose HP. It's kind of a, like a poisoning effect. Only while you're walking on it though, so. So this is level one of the hexagon. Ooh, creepy. Hmm. Oh look, there's some kind of inscription here. Huh. Hey look, it's a ghost! Okay. Hi. Do you have to walk so slowly? So we're gonna follow him. He went down this corridor right here. Hi. Ooh, so he's trying to tell us something. I'm searching the front of the statue. I wanted to read what's on the bottom there. Oh, now I'm magically at the back. And what that will do is open something we could not open until we activated that little cutscene there. Yeah, there's nothing of interest along here. But this will open the path right here. See now the headstone, you can actually see the slot where it moved. Right there. And we sadly we can't look at the thing on the wall. We want to go down the left staircase first. Because we have a blue chest over here. Antidote herb, okay. Now I want to go down this way, I think, before going down the next stairwell. Because this contains a red chest, which is a leather shield, which we are promptly going to equip. Yay! Now we're all cool now. And one thing I want to do before I forget is I picked up some medicinal herbs. from the monsters in battle, and apparently I've already got them on my character and not in my bag, which is good. Yeah, just don't forget to do that, because you can only use them in battle if they're on your character. Having them in the bag doesn't do jack. Alright. Nothing more in this room. Ooh, new enemies! Let's fight some people. Or things. Well, actually, no, we've fought these guys before, but... Yeah, I've yet to show off Dragon Slash, but then again, we don't have any dragons to show it off on, because it does, as its name implies, does more damage to dragon-type monsters. Yeah, there's a bunch of new enemies in this area. And 
A mecha miner, huh? Can you talk? Like a miner bird can? And we get some money for that. Yeah, they're just all vanilla enemies in here. Nothing really special about them. There's a bunch of different types. So I want to show all of them off. Ooh, there's that guy right there. A bag of laughs, huh? What's with the critical hits, man? Eh, sorry, it was itching my ear. And let's go further to basement two. Oh, spooky. Ah, now we get someone who's too stunned to move. And not that it really matters because I'm killing everything in one hit, but just to show you, you know, that does happen. Uh, which direction do we want to go? Ooh, fire! Now, I really don't need to be leveling anymore at this point. I am strong enough to go through this area, but... There's a secondary reason why I'm doing this, and to show you guys the, uh, the new enemies in the area and everything like that. And we get 210 gold coins! Oops, didn't mean to run the fire there. Alright, continuing on then. Uh, I can't remember which direction we want to go through first. Uh, I want to say let's go to the right, because there's a staircase leading up here. And we cannot go to the left. But we can go to the right. Oh, new enemy! A spirit. Oh yeah, that that really describes him a lot. Wow, somebody I didn't kill in one hit. Wow. Thank you, generic name of monster. Not sure I want to go through that door yet. I'm gonna go back the other way first. Because I don't want to miss anything in here. I mean, I can always come back here later, but I just don't want to have to do that. I don't want any more antidote herbs. You don't get poisoned very often in this game, so. No, I think I do want to go through there. No, I didn't want to fight you. Okay. And now we went up a level 2 basement one again. And we got a seat of deafness. Yeah, that's a stat increasing item. I actually... Nope. Okay, I don't want to go there yet. That's where the plot is. Ah, uh, so I was wrong. Now, I'm gonna go around this way to avoid you guys. Because I don't really want to fight you. My god, episode 5 had so much unnecessary editing in it, it wasn't funny. Now, go around. Okay. So, this time you do want to go downstairs. Oh, nope, it isn't downstairs. It's just, uh, it's this little stairwell it's showing me to get down to the lower level. And we get a feather fan, which is a fan weapon, obviously. But as I'm not going to uh, be using fan weapons on any characters, I may just sell that or I may just keep it for another purpose later, just in case. Okay, now we're gonna continue. I'm sorry for the little detour. I was incorrect in my directions. It was on the map, and I'm not bothering showing you the map of this area because it's just pretty much... There, there's small forks in the road, but one fork leads to a dead end and the next goes on, so... It's not a very difficult area. And the map is too big to show on one screen. Alrighty. So we already went that way, now we're gonna go up to the stairs. Yeah, this is blocking our direction from the other side. Hey, then there's a girl here! Hey, she's kind of hot. Hmm. 
beast. What? So let's be like Superman and lift the rocks. I don't like the sound of that. Oh crap. I love the look on her face there. What the crap is that thing? Well, that's what you get for going through the hexagon there. And this is our first bottle against boss battle against the hexagon. Now, we don't really have any well, let's show off Dragon Slash, just because. It doesn't cost any MP to use. But since he's not a Dragon type, he's a Beast type. It's not really going to do any extra damage, so... Yeah, see? Now, you're going to want to bring some antidote, uh, not, uh, some uh, medicinal herbs to this battle. Even though you can heal yourself, you eventually may run out of MP. Since we don't really have anything else to do, it's just regularly attacking. You want to be about 7 level 7 or 8 for this. And you shouldn't have too much of a problem. See, now I want to... No, I don't want to use an item. I want to use spell to heal myself. Ta-da! This guy has about 100 HP. And which doesn't do, you know, he doesn't do that much damage to you, but since you don't have very much HP at this point, you just want to watch out. This is why I upgraded my sword to take care of this guy a little bit faster. And they have epic flashes of the screen every time you defeat a boss like that. Uh, I hate the slow music during text scrolling across the screen. I can't fix that. I'm sorry. Yay, so all our stats go up and we learn a new spell, Crack, which is an ice-based spell. And we get skill points for level 8 because we leveled up. Yeah, level 6 does not give skill point. Or maybe it was level 7. Yeah, either level seven, 6 or 7, one of which gives 0 skill points, the other one gives 3. Whoops. So we're going to put them in sword. And because now we have more than 7 in the sword skill, our attack power when equipped with the, score, with the sword increases by 10, which is awesome. And we get a Magic Beast Hide, which is an accessory for, um, alchemy. But we're gonna get that much later in the game. Oh, oh, great, great. So I had to fight that guy for freaking nothing. Nice. Wanna tell me your name there, woman? I mean, granted, we obviously know, yes, this is Patty they were talking about, but she didn't even introduce her herself to us. Thank you! Well, not really, but we're just gonna go with that for now. Wait, well, you don't even want to travel with me even though I'm from there? Oh, come on. Come on. You little witch. Get back here. Oh, my god. Get back here. Get over here! Now, I could use a Chimera Wing, but any monsters I may run into, I'm going to fight just for the experience. I'm not going to run into them on purpose, but... Just in case I do. It's free experience, pretty much. And free money, too, for that matter, so... It doesn't hurt. Yeah, unlike Chrono Trigger, you do have to do a bit of grinding in this game. Now, granted, from these guys right now, I'm getting crap for experience, but some experience is better than none, and I'm not getting hurt by doing so, so... Now, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this before, because it took me a while to figure this out. The sign is actually crooked here, from the earthquake that started all this mess. So, let's pay a visit to... Is Erin at the inn, or is she at Grandpa's house? No, apparently she's at the inn. Okay. It's a... It, it doesn't look any really different from Randy and Melissa's house. Doy. No. Oh. Um, he kind of died. Yeah. Apparently, news travels really slow in this world. If it's been two years and she didn't know. Um. Yeah, that's kind of what it means, Patty.
Yeah, she's by herself, but she's got a grandpa across town, so... There's nobody that many people who live here! What, what, incredible entertainer? What? Huh, I see we did it with the two ends. What? Oh my gosh, she's actually shaking. That's too funny. And I love how we just barge into our, into our house and nobody notices we're here. Isn't that totally cool? Well, isn't that how... You, yeah, but... but you obviously, you inherited this in from him, so... Obviously, he's got some knowledge of it. Oh, oh, great. Now you just insulted my town. Thank you, Patty. Oh, yes, because apparently we're allowing, allowing someone else to solve all our problems. Well, if maybe if we wouldn't run into the hole to begin with, it would still be as great as when he left it. But, uh, uh, um, did she agree to this? Yeah, see? Well, she, well, where are the facts? Your word isn't a fact, man. Why is she so upset? Alright, alright, Patty, come on. Alright, you just reminded her of her dead father, okay? And she's too busy worrying about us, and with that earthquake and all that, and her grandfather came back to town, and she's probably got a lot on her mind here, okay? Yes, I've been standing here for the last five minutes, have you not known? And by the change in music, it is now nighttime, so that means in, ga in game time, I've been standing here for several hours. Mind you, people are ignorant. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that pointless ranting. Alright, so... Let's go find where Erin went. I know, I'm friggin' yawning. Hey, Ivor. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, well, maybe she is. Well, because you have a crush on her, you don't want her to leave. So, why don't we go visit her grandpa's house? Because maybe that's where she went. Oh, hey, there's a ghost here. Wait, wait, we just scared a ghost. Okay. Yes, we know you're dead. Ah, so he was the ghost of the hexagon. So this is her day, old man, huh? Oh, fell ill two years ago and died suddenly. That reminds me of the Oregon Trail. Remember that one random death where it's like, oh, just fell ill and died all of a sudden. I mean, they have like, like... Like dysentery and cholera and broken legs and snake bites, and then there's one death where you just die instantly. It's like, whatever, man. Well, duh, that's why you're a ghost. Now, a little kind of nitpick here and an interesting fact here we only recently became the guardian of Angel Falls after he died. So, how does he have knowledge that the guardianship has changed? Because he's, you know, kind of dead and all that. I mean, ghosts are kind of the, the intermediate between the Celestrians and the mortals. So, he's more like, kind of like what we used to be than he, he used to be. I don't know, I'm just confusing myself here. Hey, it's that pink ball of fluff. Oh, this damn slow music. Well, you're the one who ran into me. Uh, so she's been following me around this whole time. This, this, this winged fairy thing. Excuse me, there was an earthquake or something in the sky. So this is... Stella! Wait, wait, wait. She was part of the Starflight Express? What? Uh, do you want to explain why it crashed then? 
I'm a Celestrian! Because I'm a Celestrian! Yeah, see? Yeah, see? See? Silent protagonists are very good at explaining themselves, aren't they? Well, the proof is right here. We can see you and we can see him and we can see the train. Isn't that proof enough? Oh, great. Now, now, Stella, what do you want with us? Well, yeah, isn't that kind of what a ghost is, so to speak? It's crashed! Okay. So she is gonna tag along with us. Oh, great. So now the battle record screen, which we saw in the menu before, is going to be active. Yes, game, I just said that! So yes, battle records! Yay, and Stella will say certain things. Um, this is where you can see your accolades that you aren't, which are the two we've gotten from our weapon thus far. Uh, the item list. Yes, the game does keep track of the items in the game, and with your percentage and the number collected and everything like that. And the same thing for your wardrobe, which is basically equitable items. That's the only difference between uh, wardrobe and item list. And it keeps track of the monsters you've defeated and how many you've defeated until um, you've slaughtered 999, at which case it will stay there and won't roll over any further. But you can see, you know, what monsters the family, they, what family the defeated monsters have belonged to, or you can view them all. That's why I'm fighting everything. And later on in the game, there will be other options available from this screen. So, we've got some unfinished business! take a look at that little spot by the waterfall he pointed out to us next time! See you later, everybody.